everyone, my name is Yang Ngoc Anh Thư and I'm from K60 CLC3. I have a picture. This is a picture of a very discreet military uniform, right? But this is exactly what a victim of sexual assault wore on the day of the, of the abuse. So the question here is, uh, does clothing really affect your being sexually abused by others? In my opinion, each of us has the right to wear what we like, and we are not at fault when we are violated. It is full due to the perpetrator's consciousness. However, when it is the sexual assault case, the first thing people care about is what victim were wearing on that day. It is become an ingrained prejudice, which leads the victim to be criticized for all of the mental and physical pain. So, why does society have this prejudice? This prejudice comes from the labeling of rebuilding love on the perpetrator. This labeling creates a stereotype in the concept of sex offender, a bad guy who solicits and abuses the victim body uh, for bestial gratification. Yes, therefore, people infer that the main problem here is the victim arouses lust in the perpetrator, leading to discriminatory thoughts or blaming for the way the victim dresses. The victim were even questioned as if they were responsible for most of the disaster that happened to them. However, reality shows that stereotype is completely wrong. In the exhibition, What Did You Wear on the Day of the Abuse? In Brussels, Belgium has proved this. This exhibition displayed 18 outfits worn by uh, the rest of the uh, survivor. From somewhat a sexy dress to the full bodysuit from head to toe or even a military uniform with a gun like the picture I get above. Kenneth, a member of the organizing committee, emphasized that instead of accusing the victim of wearing revealing clothes uh, or swinging or walking along at night, uh, condemned and punished those who are who uh, caused uh, them suffering. In conclusion, we can see that any object, whether it is a boy or a girl or what they are wearing, can be the victim of the abuse. So stop criticizing and blaming them. Please listen, uh, encourage and defend them instead. Thank you for your listening.